Let's take a look at another example from section 11.1. Uh, this one is just a little bit different. It says, an investigator analyzed the leading digits from 798 checks issued by seven suspect companies. The frequencies were found to be 258, 448, I'm sorry, 148, 85, 74, 65, 62, 47, 38, and 21. And those digits correspond to the leading digits of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, respectively. If the observed frequencies are substantially different from the frequencies expected with Benford's law, shown below, the check amounts appear to result from fraud. Use the 0 0.05 significance level to test the claim to test the test for goodness of fit with ben Benford's law. Does it appear that the checks are the result of fraud? Okay, so remember, null hypothesis is always that the observed frequency fits the claim distribution. The leading digits are from a population that conforms Benford's law. And then the alternative is at least one of them is different. The observed frequency does not fit the claim distribution. So it just has to be at least one of them is different. Okay. Check answer. Okay, now it's going to ask us for the test statistic. So now let's go ahead and open this up in StackCrunch. So just open up in StackCrunch. Let's do side by side view. Okay. So now we have the actual frequency, and then this is Benford's law. It's telling us the percentage of what it should be. So let's go ahead, go to stat, go to goodness of fit, chi-square test. Now observed column was the actual frequency. And now for expected, now instead of putting all cells in equal proportion, because we're not expecting all the digits to be the same, we're, trying, we're expecting it to fit Benford's law. So let's go click on Benford's law, and then we'll click on compute. And now it tells us what the expected frequencies are right here. Okay, now chi-square test statistic. Route to three decimal places, we have 12.391. Okay, now it's going to ask us for the p-value. P-value, four decimal places, we have 0 0.1346. Okay, and now we have to make a conclusion about the null hypothesis. Well, we can compare the p-value to the significance level. We have a significance level of 0 0.05. Now, since our p-value is bigger than the significance level, that means we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We do not reject it. And now, since the null hypothesis is the original claim itself, there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the leading digits are from a population with a distribution that conforms to Benford's law. It does not appear that the checks result from fraud. 